Act. Hey everybody, this is Roy Fields, and uh, this is going to be very quick. I'm going to get on here and I'm going to do this real quickly. First of all, I want to just give you a warning ahead of time. The information I'm about to share with you may be very unnerving and unsettling for most of the viewers that I'm showing. As I'm about to show you this, some of you are going to say, yeah, I've already seen that, but you haven't seen the full thing. So just be ready to hear what I have to say, okay? Today, it's not by chance that I happen to be given this broadcast today because today is the anniversary of 9-11. Now, I'm from New York. I have friends that were in the tower next to them, and we do miss the lives that were lost, and we definitely respect and honor them. But I want to show you something today. This is not a joke. This is not a trick. This is not a ploy. This is actually very some, something very serious that I found now, it's not me that found it. Somebody sent it to me. Somebody had already given me a heads up on it, and I saw it, and I was like, what the heck? What I'm going to show you today, I want everybody internationally to watch this. This might even be a problem to watch this. But anyways, I want to show you something on the United States money, the dollar, the $5, the $1, the $5, the $10, the $20, the $50, and the $100. But let's go with some information real quickly first. How many remember back in the late 90s when all of the money, I think it was actually in the year 2000, like 2003, somewhere around there, all the money was redesigned. And it, it went from like little president's heads to big heads that look like, you know, monopoly money. I remember that. You remember that? I remember that. So I did a little research and I looked it up and here's what I found. And I'm going to turn the camera around now so you can see it yourself. I have another phone in my hand. Read this. I, I, I typed in Google, when was the money redesigned in the U.S.? Here's the answer. In the first significant design change since the 1920s, U.S. currency is redesigned to incorporate a series of new counterfeit deterrents. Issuance of the new banknotes begins with the $100 note in 1996. Interesting. Followed by the $50 note in 1997 the $20 note in 1998, and the $10 and the $5 notes in the year 2000. Now look at the website. That's uscurrency.gov. You say, Roy, where are you going with this? Oh, buckle up. I'm going to tell you where I'm going with this. I just read you when all the money was redesigned, but it did not go into circulation until 2003. Here is the redesign of the money that you have right now. You can do this right now. Folks, listen to me. We are in an absolute season of exposure of where everything that's been hidden, Jesus says, will be brought to light. And that's why I did my post last time because it frustrated me when I put that post up on Facebook about television, about we live in a world of lies. And everybody's like, oh, just pay attention to the positive stuff. If you don't know what the enemy's doing, you're not gonna know what happens when he hits you between the eyes. And today is one of those days. And I've waited till today to do this. Now, this isn't about me. This isn't about the information. And at the end of this broadcast, I'm gonna show you what is the result of me showing you this. So let me tell you a story real quick, okay? We're gonna start with the $5 bill, shaped like an airplane. I want you to look. What do you see? Do you see two towers standing there like there's nothing wrong with them? Everything's fine, right? That's what they are. The two towers folded like an airplane. Let's move that aside. Let's bring the $10 in. Uh-oh. Something happened. What happened? The towers were hit by something and they appeared to be falling. Let's go to the 20, and now they've fallen even more. Do you see the two towers? What else was hit by an airplane on 9-11? Was it the Pentagon? Let's turn it around. And there is the section of the Pentagon. Let's move on to the 50 now. Remember, you saw the 20. They're almost gone. But when you get to the 50, they're gone. The towers are gone. They're gone, folks. This is on my money. And now get to the 100, and what does it look like? It's almost like there's some dragon or some just smoke coming up from the ground. 
Why am I showing this to you? Because we've been using the money forever and a day. And here's the one. What does the one show you? Oh, look at that. It's almost as if it's not necessarily the government. It's the people in the government or it's satanic at, at the top. Now, I never got into this stuff ever. I don't care about it. And this is the problem. Nobody really does. But folks, when I lay out a clear, absolute clear, you cannot, you cannot dispute this with the money that I have in front of me. There's no way to dispute this at all. You follow the track right now with me. And you look at when you fold an airplane, a paper plane with your money, and you go from the $1 bill to the $100 bill, okay? And listen to me when I say this, okay? I just showed you the beginning of this video on Google that they redesigned the money in 1996. They started with the $100 bill, and then they moved on to the 50, and then the 20, and then the 10. And it goes 1996. 1997, 1998, and then in 2000, they were done with the redesign. Folks, this is undisputable. They executed a plan that was already planned. Okay, here's the one to the five. The towers are hit. The, the buildings are falling. The buildings are gone. And all there's left is smoke. This is not a joke, okay? Now, somebody's gonna, I can hear some pastor right now. Oh, you're spreading fear. You know, truth is only fearful to those that don't want the truth because they would rather hide themselves from the truth. And you ready for this, folks? If I take the $20 bill right now and I fold it like such in front of you, and this is the one, this is the, this is the mind blower, okay? You tell me what you see when I fold this $20 bill. I'm gonna fill the whole, I'm gonna cut off his head a little bit here. Do you see a guy wearing a mask? Is there a guy wearing a mask? Is that, is that Andrew Jackson upside down but they made his head bigger because they want him to wear a mask? And what year do they want him to wear a mask? Oh, look at that, 20, 20. Okay, I'm gonna take a pause right now. Cause some of you are going like this. I know you are, and here's why I know. I have led almost about 25 to 30 people to Christ when I've showed them this to interrupt their day. And when I do, I ask them, they go, what is going on right now? And I go, oh wow, that means that your whole life, brother or sister, has only been dependent upon the world system. And Christians, and I do mean carnal Christians, you have been a part of the world system. You've trusted in money. You've trusted in everything else except for God himself and his son, Jesus. It's time to repent. It's time to turn your life to Christ. And I'm telling you, people are coming in by the droves. Now it's unorthodox. It doesn't make sense. You know, I don't come with the clever words Paul said to declare the gospel, but demonstration. But this was the way that I was able to get somebody's attention. And then as I began to minister Christ to them, I would get words of knowledge. I began to pray for people and they started giving their life to Christ. And I mean, people pray with me in front of the convenience stores and all over because they're woke up. So I'm telling you right now, just as I said with television, wake up. You live in a world that God says through his son, Jesus, I am not of this world. I am in this world, but I'm not of this world. Remember this broadcast, share it if you want to. I'm sure it'll share it without me telling you that. I'm not raising any money. I'm, I'm not doing anything about that. I'm bringing information to you because this is real. And if you just tuned in right now, you need to watch the replay to find out what this video is about. Please comment. I would love to watch all your comments. I'd even like to dialogue with some of you. Um, the good news is this, we always knew that we were in a world system. We just didn't realize it was right up underneath our noses, that it's on the actual money that we use. Again, I wanna show you again, for those that might have a hard time with this, okay? Actually, hang on.
I have to fold this back into an airplane. Oh, by the way, they redesigned the 20 in 1998 because it used to be the south view of the White House. Now it's the north view. And you see how they added that tree in there? That's how they can get the design symmetrical. So, fold it down. It's undeniable. It's on your money. You could do this right now with your money in your billfold, and I'm sure some of you are gonna do it. You cannot deny this. This is what they did. And again, I'm not blaming the government. I'm blaming the evil people at the top. So when people quote me Romans 13, part of me laughs at them because this is never what Paul meant. Paul knew that the Romans didn't like him, but he tried to win them as much as he could. He tried to win people to Christ. It's undeniable, folks. It's right there. And you know, here's another question. Why, why am I sharing this information with you? Because you have a way right now, the fact that you're even hearing this, you can interrupt people's days and show them just like you're freaking out right now, some of you, and you can share Christ with them and you can pray for them and come out of the world system. It is a world system. My wife and I, we gave up our home and everything, gave it all away back in 2005. And we've been serving God ever since. We lived by faith for 15 years. We don't belong to the system. We're in the system, but we don't belong to the system. We pay our taxes, but we don't belong to the system. Today's a wake-up call. I love you with all my heart. Search it out. Comment. Talk to me. Send me some private messages. I'll read everything. It's time to wake up. Wake up.